let's see how we classify and break apart different plants so that we can differentiate them into larger groupings. First grouping of plants we're going to find, and these are land plants. These are the ones that are making the transition from that aquatic environment to a more terrestrial land-based environment. They are small plants. They do not grow very tall, maybe a, an inch or two. They reproduce by a zygote that is going to form on the upper part and out of that we're going to get spores. There is no vascular system. They need a moist environment and we're going to call these the bryophytes. Bryophytes are a very interesting group but again you're going to find them in moist environments and they don't have a vascular system. The next change we get is plants that start to have a vascular system. They will often look like this but again, these plants do not have very ornate structures for reproduction. They produce by producing spores, and we'll talk about how we get into those. And we're going to call these the pteridophyta. Again, this is a phylum of plants that have a vascular system, but they do not produce seeds. The next group of plants we get are going to start having seeds. Seeds are a mature ovule. So when the ovule matures, we get the formation of the seed out of this. We often look at seeds as being enclosed in an ovary, but in this case they are not. They are produced what we call naked to the world. We get plants like this. These are in the gymnospermy. Gymno means naked, so these are the ones that have naked seeds on them. Then we get plants that have seeds enclosed in ovaries, and these also have the production of flowers and therefore we have the flowering plants and we see pretty things like this and they are in the angiospermy. So we're going to look at these four major groups and we're going to break them apart based on what goes on within them.